Yes, actually, having been tear gassed in other forms of crowd control, the, the Pentagon announced yesterday that they've developed a truly non-lethal weapon that could be used in situations where civilians, such as your and myself, may be present. Apparently, this thing works by projecting a beam onto the target and causing a burning sensation no! under the skin. So basically, it's sort of a $40 million portable microwave. That's right? right, and the only drawback is you have to rotate your targets to keep them from being frozen in the middle. <laughs> also in the news, Napster today announced that they would begin blocking the names of over 5,000 songs from their servers. This is a last-ditch effort to please the recording industry. Hopefully, these songs will be blanked out when users try to search for them. Just please, please don't block out Britney Spears. I don't know what I'd do. Oh, boy. You know what? Sitting in a cubicle near yours, I wish they would block out Britney Spears. <laughs> aye, 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 aye. Napster turner David Boise said, don't. Don't start that again. Don't, don't do that again. <laughs> says he got the idea from the recording industry themselves since they've been erasing artist names off of royalty checks oh! for years. Oh! Huh. Finally, in the chat room, we're asking you, would you boycott buggy sites? And we're talking about buggy sites. We're not talking about sites with crappy HTML code that just look lousy when you go to them. We're talking about buggy sites that go above and beyond double-click in terms of tracking your movements across the web. So it's not like just tracking stalking. your movement. It's, it sort of is like web stalking. These, they have bugs now that when you go to these sites, they can look onto your hard drive and see what type of information you have on there and even take some of those files off of there. I'm not sure what the use of this is from a marketing standpoint, but it's just creepy. Yeah, I, I, you know, and it's just, what if your mother found out where you were browsing? <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. You know, mothers could pay a service to these people who have these webby bugs, these bug sites or whatever, and they, the mother can then find out where you've been surfing. Martin, go to your room forever! <laughs> oh, well. Folks, who do we have on the Tech TV Netcam Network from Harrison, Arkansas? Is that Jacob? Yeah! Me. Whoa! Welcome. Now what's going on? Yeah, I think Thanks. you've been drinking too much jolt there, Jake. <laughs> you got a question for us? Yeah, I bought a motherboard and a CPU and a couple other things for 13 bucks at an auction. 13 bucks? Yeah, socket 7 with a 400 on it. No, no way. Good. Yeah, Radio Shack auction. Very nice. Yeah, and so I brought it downstairs, hooked it up to another computer I have, pop, and then I start smelling this smell. Pop? Yeah, a pop. Huh, uh, maybe that's why it was 13 bucks. You know, it, it, well, yeah, it, it could have been dead already. Do you know if it was running before you left the Radio Shack? Uh, the, I asked the guy, the manager, and he said it, it ran fine. Oh, it runs fine. Sure, sure, sure. Don't you worry. Just give us the cash, kid. No checks. Yeah. Um, so you want to see if maybe you can resurrect it? I want to know what that pop was. You want to know what that pop was? Well, there's yeah, two, three, maybe four things it could be. You could have blown one of the capacitors on the board. You could have melted the chip. Um, could have been an oil gasket. Yeah. You know what? what we should actually point out is, is today was the day we're supposed to introduce uh, Uggum. The Ultimate Gaming Machine version 3.0. It's just one little problem. Yeah, Patrick destroyed it. I, well, I didn't destroy it. It's not destroyed. Is it working? It. I killed it. It's dead. We have all the parts. The synonym, Patrick. Yeah, the synonym, Patrick. But part of what we're <laughs> saying here is, is occasionally, actually, in your case, what kind of a power supply did you actually plug into that thing? 300 watt. Okay, and that was actually plugged natively in there and all the, everything matched. Everything hooked. Okay. Did you check to make sure all the memory and the chip and all the cards were seated all the way in the board before you fired it up? Yep. Everything was in correctly. And when uh -huh. it popped, I unplugged it and I turned it back on later and it just sit, it just uh, sat there and sounded like it was booting up but got nothing on the screen. <laughs> Funny. Sounds just like Uggum. Yeah. Except for the popping part. Um, one of the things that happens, right, whenever you hear a popping noise like that, it usually you means... You want to pour some water on it? No. No? Whatever you do. <laughs> Do not pour water onto a machine unless you've unplugged it from the wall first. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, well. You know, that thing, don't pour soda on it either. Um, or motor oil. Or gasoline. It's also a popular one. Any of those will do bad things. Here's the problem. is What you probably did is fried one of the components on it. You, you could have fried the graphics card. You could have fried the chip. You could have fried the memory. One of the things to do is basically unplug it from the wall. Start taking a really close look at that motherboard. Start looking for maybe components. Those, you know the little round cans that sit on top? Yeah, all the transistors. Mm -hmm. Those are actually the little round cans are compatible. Let me see if I can find a motherboard. What you want to actually look for is something that actually has like maybe a little physical black mark on it, a little black pinhole. 
I've been looking. Okay, so, once so that you black the... pinhole would be an indication of some burning. Exactly. Kind of like that laser that the exactly. the government has created. That burning, yeah. Look for something that looks like your toast. The burning <laughs> sensation under your skin from the military device. If you're lucky, it's going to be on the graphics card. Uh, if you're not lucky, it's going to be on the motherboard. If you've got somebody who's got a motherboard that uses the same processor, you can try putting your processor in their motherboard and seeing it starts. You're basically on a long road of slowly working out to figure out whether you can make this thing work. I, I'd rather be on the motherboard. I mean, I paid 13 bucks for it. And, uh, exactly, man. And... I wouldn't trip out too much about yeah. over this. You spent 13 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. That's worth calling into the screensavers and telling the story, right? <laughs> Hey, if you uh, want to ask your question on the air, why don't you give us a call on the telephone. It's 888-989-7879. Or, of course, you can send us a fax at 415-437-5869. Or chat with us at chat.techtv.com. Now, if you're on a net cam and you want to ask your question on the air, talk to our... That was also our beautiful fax machine we just showed you. Talk to our net cam host in the net cam, Cineplex. Who do we have in the little box of horror... Whoa! Who who up? Here? It's the screensaver Zoo Crew. <laughs> Look, we're on TV. Right Look, right there. Uh, how, how's it going, fellas? Right. Well, I think it's going pretty good. So you guys ready for the weekend? Oh, yeah. You guys ready for, like, uh, people calling in over net cams? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Any good Bring questions on. you're looking for to uh, We want questions, good oh, ones, I guess. Break yeah, breaking. If you busted your computer in any way, get in here. We'll try to get you on. Because it's a special. Especially if you paid less than 15 bucks for it. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That might be a screensaver's record. The least expensive computer I killed in less than 20 dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Patrick However, broke ours, and it was only $10,300. That would be $11,300. <laughs> oh, well. Everybody needs to kill an 11,000 computer at least. Once in their lives. If you're on the show by a net cam, you can get one of our magnetic picture frames. Who's on the picture today? Ah, oh, it features a picture sent to us by Jonathan of no last name. It's a floor scrubber that got sucked into an MRI <laughs> in a hospital. Magnetic resonance imaging. Hey, you too can get your appliance scan on our refrigerator to send it to the screensavers at techtv.com. Of course, make fridge picture. The subject line. I guess they turned on the MRI and the magnetic just sucked. Oh, that's you know hysterical. that's a waste. An MRI costs your insurance company like fifteen hundred bucks. What a waste of money. The machine costs like a half million or a million dollars. Million bucks. And somebody left a floor scrubber out and got sucked into it. I like that. That's <laughs> just evil, folks. After the break, it's time to finish off the ultimate gaming machine, which I already finished off, and fire it up, which I already did. It's dead. When the screensavers continues. <laughs>